2017 for now. But you know how Jordan Brand and Nike works uh, the majority of the times. Um, release dates might change, so for now it's still May 6th. You got the OG Air Jordan 1 box. And uh, these shoes uh, actually was an original colorway from 1985. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you guys remember the metallic navy colorway that we did a review on. So Jordan Brand has decided to continue the metallic story of the Air Jordan 1s. Uh, I think this is going to be definitely a more popular pair, seeing that it is closer to a Chicago-esque colorway. Um, and um, now the Jordan 1s have reached a point that uh, they're super popular. Uh, and uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the lacing on these. Since the Jordan 1s do come on lace, a lot of people ask how do I lace my shoes, especially in the on suit review. Well, uh, this time I'm going to show you guys and talk to you a little bit about how I laced up the sneakers as well. Uh, so the shoes of the uh, Jordan 1s originally comes like this, just like the OG. Uh, they decided to bring back the Jordan 1s uh, to its truest form by releasing the shoes unlaced as well. Uh, so how I like to lace my Jordan 1s, and I've always laced all my sneakers like this, is over and under. So uh, originally they start off like this, as you can see. Uh, but what I like to do is go over the eyelids and then inside and then repeat that step over inside over and then inside over inside all the way to the top and I even include uh, the laces on the inside of this little part of the um, uh, tongue right over here which I find helps keeping the uh, tongue in place uh, especially when I'm walking around so this is how I like to lace up my sneakers over uh, and under so over the eyelids and then under and then repeat that step over and over again uh, let me know how you guys lace your Jordan ones, but this is how I've always laced my shoes and the reason why is I feel like it looks a lot cleaner uh, in my opinion when you lace them like this compared to when you lace them uh, inside and under this is an example of how a shoe looks like laced inside under compared to uh, over and under you can see the differences um, on there so yeah let me know what you guys think about uh, how you lace your Jordan ones but let's get into the review real quick so you got your classic Jordan 1s right here in that metallic red outsole as you can see Nike branding right there midsole features a white and red midsole and the upper part of the shoe is a full leather upper and on the Jordan 1 over here uh, since it is a remastered Jordan 1 they used a nice soft leather on the upper part of the shoe you do have your metallic hit on the swoosh right on the side over here as well as on the all the red parts have this patent metallic finish to the shoe so it gives it a nice little shiny look since it is the OG Air Jordan 1 you don't have the Nike Air branding or the Jumpman branding on the heel uh, but you do have your Nike Air at the top right over here on your textile classic textile tongue uh, Jordan 1's have the Wings logo right around the collar right there and the shoes come in your white laces you also have a second option in case you wanted to switch it up with a red pair in case you wanted to do that. I think um, I like the white laces a lot more, but let me know what you guys think. For more information on how to purchase these shoes and for more information on our locations in the Montreal and Toronto area, you can visit us at shop.exclusivitylife.com. If you enjoyed this video, hit us with a thumbs up and in the comments below, let me know how you guys lace up your shoes, your Jordan ones or whatnot. Uh, for more information on how to purchase these shoes, you can visit us at shop.exclusivitylife.com. That's pretty much it.